hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much guys for subscribing thank you so much guys for commenting and um always cheering up sharing me up if you're a new subscriber and this is your first time in my channel you're very much welcome we love you here would you kindly consider subscribing leaving your comment and maybe sharing and also liking my videos and let me know what you think about my videos so um in today's video guys i'm going to give you a story so this story um is about my struggles with um acne and and my body weight or body shape body image all that could could fit the title um so i'll start with my acne okay not my acne i'll start with acne so acne no of course is we all know it's the is when you have pimples basically on the face um and i don't know if acne involves the whole body but i know um for the face um that's the common one so for me i have had i've struggled with acne for very very many years i don't even know how many years but um i know since i was a teenager I've had very very bad acne. In fact, right now it's much better. Now, um this has really okay, it, it used to impact on my self-esteem. It really did a lot of um a mess on my self-esteem. It did impact on my friendships and relationships, of course, because I was I, I was I always felt like I don't fit in, especially when you when your friends have these beautiful faces and beautiful skins and it's very common and it's it's normal um for someone to feel like they don't fit in it's very common and it's it's normal anyway so um i as as far as i remember when i was a when i was a little girl and if when i see my photos when i was little i can tell that my face used to be very uniform like my skin tone used to be uniform so i used to be light like i used to look like hair if you can see so my skin was very uniform but when i entered my i entered the teenage years i started developing the acne and the acne has been there for long many years uh, and when so when i was in high school it really impacted on my self esteem i used to have issues um people used to laugh about my face because my face um used to have acne here so i used to have so many rashes around this around my forehead and then the other places i would get maybe few few pimples either the blackheads or the whiteheads and I used to feel bad. Used, people used to laugh at me. And right now, when I think about it, why would someone laugh at you? Like, seriously, when I come to think about it, I didn't do anything wrong to get the pimples. Like, I didn't choose them either, you know? So, I want to talk to someone. If you're having pimples, you're having issues with your face, there's nothing wrong with you. We did not choose our faces. We did not choose our skin tones. We we chose nothing. It's what we have. And sometimes things will happen to your bodies that you have no control of. And so that should not make you feel bad, especially like acne. If today I was a teenager, I was a teenager today, I would not care about my face. At this point I don't care too much i mean the extreme caring well i still try and, and and use some products here and there i try and apply um maybe vitamin c i've been doing that i've been i've been moisturizing my face uh, a bit recently or maybe um maybe for the cup for the last one year i've tried but then i don't stress too much about my face that's the point and I would, I'm, when I'm, if um, you're there, my viewer, and you're really struggling with your face, don't stress too much. Sometimes when we don't stress too much, that's when things work out. But sometimes we stress so much, and there's nothing much we can do. There's nothing, like, it's beyond us. You can only do too much, or so much. So um, then, so let me go back to the story. So when I went to college, 
when i went to college um again i had the same issue uh, with my skin tone with my face i even tried a bit of products like nice and lovely i think there was nice and lovely um some products back in kenya they were so viral and everyone was applying them on their faces i think dark and handsome or something there was and i used powder i used to i i, I tried powder on my face but all these never helped me i felt like i was making everything worse so i stopped so in in college i never used so much i never actually i didn't use anything at some point uh, maybe from second year i stopped caring now the problem came in when people um or friends or just schoolmates so i remember one time this girl um one of the girls she had a, a pimple one pimp her face was flawless but then at one point in time she got one pimple on her face and she was so stressed and then um we are sitting outside i think we were just basking and then she says I, I i don't understand how people who have pimples the whole of their faces they survive and she was like i can't even sleep because of this one pimple i was like oh my god i've been i've lived with pimples since i was a teenager since i was a teenager and i sleep Anyway, I, anyway, it's okay for her. She she doesn't know how she she had she had not gotten any pimples. Maybe I don't know. But there are people who don't get pimples on their faces. Actually, I've seen people whose faces are so good. But then when she said that in front of me, I felt like she was mocking me. I don't know. But at that point, my face was so bad. Especially my forehead was full of rashes, pimples so many so these pimples eventually what they did to my skin is i now have different color or skin tone on my face like my face looks a bit or a bit of okay i would say chameleon because i don't have multiple colors but if you see here if you know me better if you've met me you'll you you'd have realized that i have a dark tone here very dark then on on here i'm a bit light and here i'm a bit light so my skin is not uniform at all it's not like if you look at my hand my hand looks uniform the skin tone but my face is different but then i don't care i'm just i'm just happy at this point i'm happy because there's nothing i didn't do anything wrong i'm not guilty of anything i didn't choose to have pimples i didn't choose to 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 get my face this way um and now i love myself i'm just like uh, there's nothing i can do about it so uh again now i wanted to talk about uh, my the body image the body image when i was in college i was a bit chubby i mean I wasn't so chubby. I was a bit a bit big. Um and if you know me for the like let's say 2021 2020 I was really skinny, like slim. But I wasn't I was not skinny like I haven't been skinny all my life. No, I used to be a big girl, a little bit bigger. So when I went to college, I had this guy, this boyfriend of a person, and he told me, he said that he likes um slim ladies and that the lady he was dating before me the lady was skinny and that he only likes slim girls and that time remember we are already like in a relationship so i was like okay so what do i do so he said you have to work out and lose weight cut some weight actually i haven't told okay maybe i've told one or two people this story so i started the journey of losing weight and i actually lost a lot of weight but then i lost weight to a point that i got sick so i was actually hospitalized um some po at some point when i was in college uh and i was very very sick i did all the the hospitals they did all the tests on my body they couldn't find any sickness i went for mri 
was it MRI, CT scan. They checked my eyes. They checked all. I had all the tests, but I was not sick. Like they couldn't find any sickness. But later on, I just came to realize that it's because I was starving. I got to a point I could not eat. I was only eating fruits. I loved fruits so much because actually they helped me cut weight. So guys, if you want to lose weight, try and cut a lot of your foods and eat more fruits. I, I did that and I, I, of course, I did a lot of exercise. I used to lift weights. I used to do roll the roller thing that cuts the belly and my uh, I used to have a, I got a very flat tummy. Right now it's gone. I no longer have a flat tummy. But then that, those days, the workout really helped me. It really worked out. So I did these, tra these exercises. I used to run in the field. In the morning I was just running. And mind you, I was doing this for someone else. Like, it's not like I wanted to be slim. I'm, I was happy to be active and and work out but not to the extreme that i went just to be slim for someone and guess what guys the guy still left me like in fact after i've lost weight and i was that petite he walked away imagine what a waste i wasted my time anyway no um i did the I'm happy I did the exercise, but I'm not happy because at the same time, at the same time, I'm not happy because I didn't do it because I wanted to. I did it because he wanted me to do it. And the worst thing is this. He was this big. Like, I'm no offense. Not that big people are, are, are bad, no. But the fact that he was telling me to lose weight and be skinny and himself was big, I feel like it's is it irony? I feel like it's double standard. Like if you want me to, if you want us to be fit, let's be fit together. Let's all hit the gym. Let's all diet. Let's all keep fit. But not me being a petite and you're an obese person and you're even killing my self-esteem and making me do things that I didn't want to do. But anyway, I've picked lessons from from all these stories i have lessons that i've picked of course number one about the skin let no one tell you anything about your skin like for real this if something is out of your control let no one tell you anything like seriously if there's something you can do about it well and good someone can bring in their input and tell you hey guy hey hey do, what, what do you think about this and this this can help your face maybe they can they can um, advise you or recommend something that, and they'll be like, maybe this one can help you. Are you happy to try? But let no one tell you, oh, your face looks this, you don't look good, you, you. That bullshit doesn't work. No. At this age and era, we should not, we should uplift someone. We should uplift one another. Like for real. This the like the skin is very sensitive if you tell me about my face and you keep telling me about the way i'm i'm, I'm, I'm dark and i'm whatever 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 you're not helping me no you're not you're just telling me what i know and again it's like sometimes it sounds negative when someone keeps telling you or even if they tell you once unless you're recommending something for me don't remind me that my face has different skin tones i know already so even for you my viewer if you're struggling with um, maybe acne, skin problems, I don't have any solution for you. But I have to I have something for you. And this is what I would say. Just love yourself. Embrace yourself. No one else is going to love you as you love yourself. You should you be your first lover. Love your skin. Lo love yourself with all your negatives and all your positives. Because that's what makes you your beautiful face imagine we all have something that we that is negative maybe like something that someone else doesn't like so maybe someone doesn't like about the way i look and some maybe i don't like the way you walk but then there's nothing we can change we, you can i cannot change the way you walk so I, I, it doesn't help if I keep telling you, oh, you walk like this. And I remember sometimes, again, 
Oh, this sons of Farao. So this one one son of Farao told me, I mean the boyfriend, he told me this, that that um my he he mentioned he just i don't know if he was joking but i feel like he was not joking because i really uh, i was really mad about it he said that my my knee they they look like they're knocking he said i walk like this and do you know what since then i realized that that's how i walk it never bothered me i never realized until he mentioned it but now let me ask you if my knees are going like this and and i'm not pretending that's how i walk if you tell me how how am i how are you helping me you're just only going to make me feel awkward and feel bad so when he told me i started trying to walk and put my knees like this but i was not created like that my knees were created the way they were created actually i ne and now if i when i look at my when i look my at myself on the mirror i can really see my knees going like this like they are, they are going to knock each other. But before he said it, I never realized. I never thought about it. But now I can see it. I can see it because he said it. Anyway, that's fine. There's nothing I can change about my knees. I love my knees. I love my legs. And that's fine. So the other thing about your body, uh, your body. If you, if, you love, if you love your body big, that's fine. We cannot all be slim. Let no one tell you, oh, you're big, you need to lose weight. Okay, sometimes someone can tell you, hey, what about if you keep, keep fit, you know? Don't just sit down and eat and become big, 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 big. If you're becoming big, have a limit. Have a limit of food, of course. And sometimes people are even big not because they eat too much. Some people are big because of health conditions that we don't even know. So when you go and tell someone that, oh, you need to lose weight. You need to go to, to the gym and lose weight. You need to diet. You don't even know the struggles they are going through. So it's very important to be sensitive the way um, around the way we tell people um, some stuff. Like body weight, our skin. There's so much things that we need to be careful when we are addressing. Um, so if you're big and you love it, well and good. If you're petite and you love it, well and good. If you want to lose tummy like me, well and good. We all have our reasons. We all have our end goals. So if, if someone else doesn't want to lose, I remember this one friend of mine, I, I told her when I was not, when I was very, well, let me say I was not sensitive then. Right now I'm, I'm a bit sensitive. I think as you, as you grow old, you, you learn, oh, life is full of lessons. Right now I've learned there are things I cannot tell someone I will tell my friend, of course. If you're my friend and we are really close, of course, I'll tell you, hey, that Tommy. Now, I was telling you about this friend of mine. So when I was very, when I was, I was back in Africa and I told my friend, that time I was petite. I was that American height and the figure was, I was very slim and flat stomach. And I thought my body is the best. But then, here yeah, I had my friend who was, I think, around size 14 six to 16. And I thought, <clears throat> I thought to myself, how do you just sit down? <clears throat> Sorry. How do you even wait for your body to be that big? So I was like, okay, I'm going to tell this lady that she's too big. She needs to lose weight. <clears throat> so I told her, I was like, hey, why don't you go to the gym and do some dieting and just do something and lose weight? She told me, no, I can't lose weight. I'm happy. She said, if I lose weight, how am I going to look? Am I going to look boneless, like, with, full of bones like you without meat? I was like, oh my God. So, so I look bony to her. And for me, she looks meaty and I don't like that meaty. So I learned. So I've learned. I'm like, if you love the way you love your body, well and good. Every, we are very different. We cannot all be the same. And if we all become skinny, the companies that make clothes, size 16 and size 14, who are they going to make clothes for? So we have to be, everyone has to have their own figure and, all, and their size. So yeah, that's my thought, guys. Let me know what you think about the topic today. And if, if um, you've loved my video, 
leave a comment leave um like my video share with your friends and family if you've not subscribed guys don't forget to subscribe touch the notification bell so that every time i upload a video you'll be among the first people to see the video and for now uh, until there guys this is my bye i'll see you guys on my next video see ya guys bye